working? working. Hello, everyone. Um, very glad to be here. Uh, I was asked about something about the photography. I'm a photographer. I do photography. But I was thinking maybe that would be something better to say. And I kept thinking and thinking what to say to you guys today. Um, and I think it hit me when I, when I spoke to my wife that regardless of the stage of your life, you can always change your life. And you can always do whatever you really want to do. Even if you spend 20, 50 years doing something else, you can do something new. And it is important to realize this, that you can, but it's also important to see what's, what's against that. Why did you start doing so now, when you're 40, when you're 35, when you're 50, and not before? But it's important to do it. That's not me. Well, I was born in uh, communistic Poland. It was a long time ago. For most of youngsters, it's like ancient times. Uh, but some of you guys, not youngsters, a bit older, remember these times in Poland. And I attended to the communistic school, whatever it was, public school, like everyone here. And I remember teachers used to say to me different things. Of course, there were better teachers, worse teachers. But some of the teachers said to me, you're not good in this. They used to say, you're not good in this. You're not good in art. You're not good in maths. Or you're good in this and that. And I was thinking, well, if the teacher says so in a big communistic school, then I believe him. I'm not good at, I'm not good in art. The teacher, art teacher said, you're not good in art. Your sister is, because my sister was older than me and we were in the same school. She was too young, two years older than me. And I was thinking, yeah, well, maybe, maybe she is older and maybe she is better than art. So, So I was labeled, I was labeled, I got a label, I got a sticker, straight away, maybe first lesson, maybe second lesson. So I was drawing my pictures, delivering pictures, and the teacher kept saying, yeah, it's okay, but you're not, you're not good in art. And I was thinking, okay, well, I'm not good in art. And I think it happens to all of us, I mean, I have two kids, they're happy to be here in the school. And I also do it sometimes to my kids. I say to them, hey, yeah, Emma, you, my, my daughter, yeah? You're good in, you're good in art. You're good in uh, uh, music. You'll be probably a musician, maybe you'll be a singer. But Oscar, he is a good in sports. And I do it as well. And I realize this, I'm thinking, wow, why do I do this? Why do we all do this? Because we want them to be, or because we've always wanted to be? That's what we project on them. So we're labeled in many ways. We're good in languages, not good in art. We're shy, we're not patient enough, we're chatty, we're nerds. We're nerds as well, of course. And we're pretty girls. Pretty meaning what? Silly, stupid. And those labels, no matter what we want, whether we want them or not, they become us. They become us and they are with us through the whole life sometimes. I said they always do. But if they want, if, if we listen to them, if we listen to those labels, they can become us. And it happened to me as well. It happened to me. I graduated law because I don't know why. <laughs> God knows why. I've never been a lawyer. But I was thinking, well, if I'm not good in art, so maybe I'll be a good lawyer, right? So <laughs> I graduated after six years, not five, because it was really, really tough. But it suited me because I avoided things. Because whenever I was thinking about art, I was thinking, well, I'm not good enough. It is with me. It becomes me, right? 
It was part of me. So they stick to us for life if we let them, if we let them, if we're smart, if we have good parents, good teachers, good sisters, good brothers, good cousins, who don't label, then we don't label ourselves. But if they do, they make us reluctant to face challenges. We lose opportunities. We lose opportunities. The mechanism, mechanism is very, very simple. The teacher says to me, well, you're not good in art. But then I come home, and my mother says, hey, just challenge yourself. Draw some picture. Do it well. Be great in it. So I take a, a piece of paper, I start drawing the picture, and I'm thinking, well, maybe I'll give up. I'm not good in art. And that's the way it works. It's catch-22. It goes like a circle. So I know it's, it's very difficult, because I also do it sometimes when I don't catch myself. And my wife does. She's a teacher. We do it, because it's normal. We all label. So please. Let's think about it. Stop labeling others. And what's more important for you youngsters, for you young guys, very smart, wise people here in the school, and generally speaking, just don't let the teachers, don't let your parents, don't let your cousins, don't let your family to label you. That you're this or you're this. You're that or you're that. You're better than this, you're better than that. Are you worse and worse? Just don't do it, and don't let other people do it. Well, there was no self-promotion, so I won't be talking a lot about myself today. But uh, in this way, I graduated law, as I said. I never became a lawyer. Then I realized, because I was told I'm better in communication, I'm open, I have an open personality, so maybe I'll just join marketing team in some company, and it happened. I joined the company, first company, second company. I was a PR guy, I was marketing specialist. I was talking a lot, sometimes in front of cameras. And I was doing this job for 15 years, these jobs. I can't say I didn't like them, but I, maybe that wasn't me, because I wanted to be good in art, right? So I said to myself and to the whole family, I did a resolution, I said, no more labels, guys. No more labels within the family. I don't want to be labeled. I want to do what I really wanted to. I, I want to be a photographer. I think art photography is a bit over the top. But I wanted to be in this area. And I changed my life. And that's what I wish you guys, particularly you youngsters, to do it and stop labeling each other and stop labeling other people. Okay? Thank you.